Another game where this team has a billion opportunities but can't bury anything until about three minutes to go in the third period as they lose 2-1 to one to the Dallas Stars. The offense is clear as day, shriveled up to all, shriveled up to all heck. If I'm not mistaken, this team has not scored a first or second period goal in their last five games. Four or five games. And I think, it's, I think it's five games, and that sets a Maple Leafs record. But it's no luck for trying, right? This team finds tons of opportunities. They have tons of power plays. They had five in the game. And the only one they bury is with, like I said, three minutes to go in the third period. And then a big fluster at the end of the end of the game. And then, of course, Anton Hudobin, who exactly... Uh, Stones the leaves cold in many opportunities there in the last minute of the third period uh, to prevail 2-1. to one. The last 15-20 seconds had more action than the entire game, pretty much. But I gotta say, and I got a question for you guys. Knowing what we saw today from this Leafs team, they didn't play terrible. They outshot their opponents. Where is it here? Uh, as of right now, it's 31-18. 31-18. They outplayed, and don't don't give me the whole. Oh, Freddie didn't have a good game. Then look at the goals. You look at the goals they scored. The first one was a deflection. Uh, I mean, you know, it was going to his chest, and then it dipped down five hole. That's tough. Especially, I think it was on the power play too. Tough one there. The other one, tic tac toe play, and your defense and John Tavares are too busy. Like, oh god, what's going on? Two guys are left open. The tack and the toe, and uh, into the back of the net. Not much Freddie Anderson can do whatsoever on either goal. You can't blame him for those. But it's not the defense I'm worried about. You only give up two goals. You only give up 18 shots. It's the matter you have not scored a, scored a first or second period goal in five straight games. That is awful. This team could not stop scoring. There was like never a period in general this team could not score. But now they can't. Be, and don't give me the whole Austin Matthews is in here so we're not scoring crap. Because for the first three games, or I guess two and a half, of this weird streak that's going on, he was a part of it. Right? So, I mean, look, yeah, for the other game and a half, two games, whatever you want to call it, uh, he, he's been a, he, he, you could arguably say he is a factor to that. But it's not for the lack of trying, and this team, I don't know what the heck's going on. I'm going to skip right to the third period where clearly they score all their goals. But the big opportunities happen in the third once again for the Leafs. Let's go to uh, John Tavares, two on one. Puck's on his stick and all of a sudden it starts bouncing on him and it bounces over his stick. We're like, oh, this is, this is incredible. A few seconds later, the puck gets to Mitch Marner. He toe drags around the defender. He's got a wide open lane between him and Hanton Hudobin and he fans on it. In a matter of five seconds, you see Marner and Tavares fan on shots. You don't see that much. Ten minutes to go in the third period. Leafs get a great chance. Puck bounces off the board or something like that. Patty Marlowe's got a wide open cage, and he rings it off the far post. And it does not come back and hit the goalie and go in. It bounces right back out. And like I said, like I said right at the beginning of the video, guys, like the, the scramble in front of the net and late in the third period, and Anton Hujo makes a huge save on Mitch Marner, and we're like, who is this guy? Is this Ben Bishop? Is this Jonathan Quick? Not injured. Is this Matt Murray in the playoffs? Is this Braden Holtby last year? No, it's Anton Hujo been making these saves. I, look, and I can't say we ran into a hot goalie because Hujo been coming into the game. Uh, I don't. His numbers were terrible. Uh, where is he here? Uh, what he's one and one with a 3.03 goals against an a nine eight, eight sorry 8.98 save percentage. That's terrible. I mean, ideally it's only in two games, but he goes out there today and throws a one goal on 30 shots, and a lot of them are difficult shots. The Leafs just can't find a way to score. Look, excuse me. Like I said, I don't know if it's the hockey gods because the whole two times in one play bouncing over the stick. I mean, you watch that John Tavares one, right? The one on the two on one. The puck was flat, and he had on a stick, he's ready to rip it, then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, right as he's about to shoot the puck, it starts going on him. What the heck happened there? And then late in the game, hard pass over to John Tavares, puck bounces over his stick again, and we're like, what What the heck is going on here? And very late in that third period, I'm gonna. the reason I'm going towards this is because this is where I started seeing all this stuff. 
But the Leafs are trying to keep the puck in. Puck comes back to Morgan Riley. It hits a weird indent on the boards and goes, bink, out into the middle of the ice and out, uh, out into center ice. He would have kept that in and who the heck knows what would have happened. You could arguably say it's the hockey gods taking a big old dump on the Toronto Maple Leafs right now. But arguably, the, team, the, the, the Leafs are really playing well in the first two periods alone. And you're waiting to the third period to try and get everything back. And you, you have 15 shots, you have, shoot them 15-3. That's great. But you have combined 16 shots in the first two periods. Now you hold them to only, what is that, 15? Yeah, 15 shots. Well, that's nice. But you got to put things in the back of the net. And this team is really struggling with that right now. The problem is they can't score at home. That's the big... The Leafs are perfect on the road, guys. This team is, what, 3-5 and five at home? And then they're perfect on the road. How is this making any sense? I, I have no darn clue. By the way, the one power play goal from Marlowe had Zach Hyman and John, John Tavares... Uh, with assists on the play. But I don't know what to say, guys. I mean, I really don't. I don't know if I, I don't know if I should, I don't know if I should call this a rage video cuz not me I mean, I'm getting kind of upset, but like I can't I can't be upset with the effort there late in the game. I'm just watching these bounces and I'm like, what the heck is going on here? You know, and when you find a breakdown in their defense, it can't, like, let me go back to, uh, I forgot which game it was. Um, I don't know if the Leafs actually lost this one either. Um, but remember, Josh Levo had the partial breakaway, and he fans on it. Same with John Tavares, fans on it. Pucks bouncing all over the place. I don't know what's up at the Leafs' ice right now. Either they fix something, or the Leafs are just having terrible luck right now. You know what? It will change. Leafs fans, I know I'm ranting like crazy, because none of us expected this type of drought. First off, with the offense we have, and they just set a record in Leafs history for not scoring. I don't think any of us expected that type of thing to happen for the team this year. But I'm, I'm glad it's happening early. You know, and the Leafs are now 8-5. and five. Uh, They've played, what, uh, 13 games on the season, which ideally, I mean, 8-5, and five, it's not a terrible record. You're still above 500, and it's still so early in the year that you can go on a streak. Look at Boston last year, guys. I mean, I'm not saying the Leafs can go on that type of tear. Ideally, with the offense, when they're cooking, they can. But this team is good enough to go on lengthy streaks and, and to go on really good runs. Right now, they can't find the back of the net. Maybe a good thing for this team would be hitting the road. Problem, though, your next game is Saturday against Pittsburgh in Pittsburgh. And then you play Vegas at home. When do they go on the big road trip? And then New Jersey at home, Boston on the road, um, LA on the road. So they Okay, so they have a four-game road trip there starting on uh, November the 10th. Maybe that'll be good for them. I mean, you got some very tough teams. You got Boston and Boston. Then you have your West Coast swing of San Jose, LA, and Anaheim. I don't care what the records are of those teams. They're always hard teams to face. Clearly, Leaf fans, we know that. But this team's got to smarten up and start putting pucks in the back of the net. Not just, like, during the third period, because that's got to change. And I think that, that type of thing is going to be magnified so hard next game and like i said next game you play pittsburgh on saturday and if i'm not mistaken last time we faced pittsburgh uh, we didn't fare too well that's the first team that actually shut this leafs team down uh where am i here uh yeah three nothing loss at home and then since then the leafs score one goal four goals yeah i mean the only reason well that was that was in winnipeg three two at home you had to come back in the third period again um, and then all three goals actually in that Winnipeg win were in the third period. And then Calgary, you lose three, one. Well, that third, that one goal in the third period late to make it a two, one game. Then they score an empty netter. And then today, you don't score until three minutes left in the game. So since that Pittsburgh game, excluding the two Winnipeg games, this leave team cannot score. Now, it will change, like I've said over and over. It will change. It will get better. I just don't know when. This team's just got to keep grinding it out. And like I said, guys, the, the road has been good for the Leafs. You take on Pittsburgh in Pittsburgh. Not easy to win there. Not against a, a, as good of a team as they are. But, like I just said, the Leafs are a better road team than home team so far this season. So, 
we take that, and I guess we kind of move on from this this debacle. I hope. I really do. Hopefully a fresh start on Saturday, guys. But you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. You guys enjoyed this video, and you guys enjoyed the little rant I had. Uh, hit that like button. I do appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below. What would you guys think of the, the, the video? What would you think of the game? What, how do you guys feel about this team right now? Like, what, what is your what is your take on the way this game went? Was it a lot of bad bounces? Was it the, the, the hockey gods? What was it? Or the Leafs just not playing well. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Because I didn't think they played a terrible game today. They were, their legs were going. I thought Josh Levo was fantastic. I thought Andreas Janssen had his best game of the season. And he had a few great chances. But they just couldn't put it in the back of the net. I want to hear what you guys have to say about all this crazy stuff. Evan and I will talk to you guys Saturday afternoon podcast edition. Link is in the description for the podcast channel. And for the podcast itself on iTunes, guys. Twitter is also down below. Follow up. Send me a DM. Do all that great stuff. I think it's like a semi-rage. I did kind of lose it a little bit, but I didn't lose it to the extent of I was freaking the heck out. That's what that's what the you guys will probably tell by the start. That's what the title is going to look like. Uh, but I think I, I, you know what, guys. Like I said, Twitter's down below, all that crazy stuff. And uh, like I said, Evan and I will talk to you guys uh, Saturday afternoon. Twitter's down there, guys. Follow up, all that great stuff. And I will talk to you guys Raptors edition tomorrow. They start their road trip starting in Phoenix, taking on the Suns, and. Um, by the way, a little uh, Raptor. I don't know if you guys are still around, if Raptor fans are even watching this right now. Um, you guys see Skip Bayless uh, either before or after that Milwaukee game saying, oh, you know, the Raptors just doing this. I take, uh, what did they say? he take Jimmy Butler over Kawhi Leonard any day. Ka Ka Jimmy Butler over Kawhi Leonard. I'll let your Raptor fans have fun with that. Um <laughs> Because I am. It's ridiculous. Uh, so let me get, let me know what you guys thought of the, uh, the video and everything, guys. And I'll talk to you guys uh, tomorrow. Raptors edition. They look to win their second straight game. They look to kind of get some momentum on the road. They're 1-1 one one so far. Haven't played many road games, but they're on a four-game uh, road trip right now. And the times are not going to be in favor of this team. But uh, they look to get it started off in Phoenix, take it on the Suns uh, tomorrow night at 9 o'clock. All right? And we'll talk to you guys Leafs edition Saturday night as the Buds look to find some offense in Pittsburgh Take out the Penguins, 7 p.m. puck drop uh, in Pennsylvania as the Buds look to get back in the win column and get some get some juices flowing on the offensive end. I mean, my goodness, they got to really find something together. But we're going to have to wait and see. We'll talk to you guys then.